Katie. Ow! That, ah, that's hot water right there. Hello everyone, thanks for watching the video. Today we're going to be looking at a bucket heater. Uh, this is something I just picked up a little while ago. I wanted to try it out today. Uh, but uh, this is uh, 1500 watts. It's electric, so you have to plug, you have to plug this into a 120 volt outlet. Uh, quick heating speed can heat over 180 degrees Fahrenheit, great for five gallon buckets. Uh, so if you're looking for some fast hot water, um, I don't know the situation necessarily, but uh, let's just say maybe your gas water heater is out and you wanted to maybe wash some dishes, take a bath, a shower, um, and you need some quick hot water, uh, this may be something that will help. So uh, pictures here. It looks like someone's in a pool, uh, bathtub, maybe washing, I can't really see that, maybe washing a car or something. Um, anyway, uh, multiple uses, I'm sure. Um, let's uh, open this up, take a look at it. Got some instructions, make sure you go over these, uh, especially the warning parts. Um, so you, you obviously don't want to be in the water when this thing is plugged up when it showed someone within a bathtub or, or in a bathtub or in a pool what they're doing is they're taking at least what I hope they're doing is they're um, warming the water and then once it's hot they're uh, taking it and transporting it to the bathtub or you know a, a small pool it looks like a looks like maybe a hot tub or something there but uh yeah small maybe pool kids pool or something you want to warm the water up for them um get you a five gallon bucket stick this in there we've got a guard here definitely make sure that you have a grounded outlet when you, you plug this in um you want to make sure that uh you have eight inches of water you don't want to put this part and i don't know why this is a return, so um, this had a label on it, but no longer. Uh, but you want to make sure that the water level doesn't go like um, over eight inches, I believe. Or you definitely want to make sure it doesn't go over here to the cord. Uh, but uh, once it, if it does, if the level gets down to six inches, this will automatically cut off. So it's got an automatic cut off um, when the water gets too low. It's a safety uh, feature. Uh, here's the heating elements right there. And there's a middle tube here that's supposed to regulate uh, the the uh, temperature. Um, if it gets around the 180 to, I think it said 194 range, something like that, it will regulate it and keep it around there so that it won't overheat. That's what uh, I think the online instructions said. Uh, let's go to those real quick. Here is the G-Cell side if you're interested in this bucket heater. I uh, wanted to show you this. Um, from Amazon, you can get to this. Just put in G-Cell bucket heater. Uh, should take you right up there. Um, there's information on how to use the heater, what to do, what not to do, more specifics than I'm going to be able to tell you. So I uh, wanted to point that out. It has a 12-month warranty. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and put this in a bucket of water and see how fast it will heat the uh, water up. Um, see how well it's going to work for us. Here's a couple of buckets I wanted to show you. Um, we've got a three gallon bucket here. This is what we're going to use today. We're going to probably do two gallons of water and see how fast it will heat up two gallons uh, to around the 180 degree range. Uh, here's a five gallon bucket fits uh, really good in there as well. Um, now you wouldn't want to bring the water level over here. You'd want to keep it below that of course. Uh, but yeah, it fits really nice in a five gallon bucket as well. So uh, let's go ahead and get our water in this bucket and see how fast we can heat up the water to let's say around 180 degrees. We're going to get our water from the bathtub. We're using the cold. Here's our two gallons of cold water. Got the immersion uh, bucket heater here. Let's uh, check the temperature. 
52 degrees. Okay, let's go ahead and plug this up. Put the heater in the bucket first. Got a grounded outlet. Okay. Uh, let's check the time. 12.59. We want to see how long it takes to get to around 170, 180 degrees. Um, supposedly this will go around 194 range. You can hear it hissing now. You can see it bubbling. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is not supposed to boil. It says it does not boil water, so it should get like right below the boiling range if you wanted it to get that hot. Okay, pretty cool. Um, so I'm probably gonna pause this uh, from time to time. We can go ahead and check the water temperature. can't believe that look at that we're already at 69 degrees I have not edited the video at all I'm not pointing uh, it at the heater itself like right in the center of the bucket and we are at 71 72 degrees it's got to be like a minute or so one minute it's like one minute or almost two minutes about at two minutes Maybe I won't pause it. Uh, let's see. Okay, I'll go ahead and pause it. I'm going to be pausing it at uh, 101. All right, let's check our time. So we're into this about six, seven minutes. Started at 12.59. Let's check the temperature. A hundred and two degrees. Wow. Go ahead and pause it again. All right, let's check our uh, time and temperature. We're at 113, so about 14 minutes. And, and we are at 125. So that would be a very comfortable... Uh, really hot water for uh, your skin um, I can't imagine really using any more than 125 degree water so uh, we'll try to let it continue to climb to 180 but at this point I'd probably be using this water um, and uh, you know around the 12 minute mark so it's pretty fast for what I would want to use it for now, um, there is something that I wanted to show maybe in another video. Uh, I wanted to try out this camping uh, shower kit, but I won't do that in this video. Um, that's something I could incorporate with this, or anyone could if they want to try that for washing dishes or taking a shower. Um, you know, of course, you're going to have to have the uh, electricity, a plug to get your water hot. Uh, but like I said earlier, if you've got gas, uh, if your gas is out, this could be something, you know, you could use inside the house. Um, so uh, we'll let it continue to climb here. 30, 133, 130, yeah, 133. It's actually starting to smoke. So I'll get right back.
Okay, here's another update. Got a lot of steam. I think I might have said smoke earlier, but uh, yes, yeah, steam from uh, the hot water now. Uh, we are 124, so it's about 25 minutes. Probably going to make this the last uh, update. Uh, yeah, 25 minutes. Um, it seems to be kind of taking longer than I wanted to. Uh, so we're at 161. Uh, one. Yeah, we're at the 160 range. So, uh, yeah, uh, that's uh, hot water right there. That's that is hot water, and. Like maybe I said earlier, I would have definitely already been using this water. I um, was pretty impressed with the, um, I thought it would be faster to get to 180, but it's taken, what, what was it, 25 minutes, 26 minutes, and it's not even at 180 yet. It's around 160, so um, that's kind of what to expect. Uh, the impressive thing was at around the 10 minute mark, it was at 125, I believe. So um, that's not bad. It's pretty fast, I think. Two gallons. Okay, here we are. We are at 183. Now it took a while to get from 170 to 180. Uh, what are we at? 140. So it's about 40 minutes uh, if you need to get to 180. Um, it got to 170 in about 30 minutes. So um, that's some hot water right there, it really is. So I think we're going to end the video now. Uh, I'm going to unplug it first. Let's check that one more time. 180, said 184 there for a second. Uh, yeah, we're going to unplug it here. And I'm going to take this out and put this on some brick. Actually, outside. Let me do that real quick. Yeah, I'm just going to let it cool right here. And back to our water at 180. Ow! That, ah, that's hot water right there. All right, thanks for watching. Again, G-Cell bucket water heater. Till next time, have a nice day. Take care.